Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. This quote is by an unknown author. Expect the best. Believe something good is going to happen, and it usually will. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials closed down 27, NASDAQ off 11, S&P's off uh, three and a half, gold contract down a buck 90, trading at 1,230 an ounce. Silver up 48 cents, trading at 17 dollars and four pennies. Silver finally had wide price spread, accelerated volume going topside. Want to see another one, but that's a sign of strength that we needed inside the silver market. Copper. Got smacked. That was down 12 pennies at 260 a pound. Light sweet crude flat at $46.40. That also made a lower low. Has volume behind that. Oil's going lower. King, 10-year um, bond. 10-year bond up six ticks at 129.08. 30-year bond down four ticks at 148.10. Both the 10-year and the 30-year rejected lower price. Had light of volume, bottom line, bonds want higher price, lower yield, in a huge way, too. It's pretty amazing, folks, okay? The 10-year right now is yielding 1.903, and what that's set up to do uh, is probably get down to about 1.7. This is going to be pretty amazing watching this whole thing shake out. King dollar. What do we have A king dollar? King dollar gets up to a price point uh, of 92.63 today. Couldn't hold price. We're at 92.47, 92.53 is the benchmark, folks. What 92.53 is, is that is the high of 2005. It took nine years and two months to get up and get into that high. Bottom line, I expect you're going to see King Dollar continue to back off those highs. It's been testing the last few days. That's what's throwing some monster volatility inside this market. When we take a look at the uh, Dow Industrials, uh, bottom line, I'm sure it's a shocker out there for uh, many folks. Dow Industrials had a high out here today of 923, 17,923, and a low of 17,640. You're at 17,613, uh, uh, yeah, 17,498 rather. Uh, so the price spread was uh, pretty amazing out here. You had a, a price spread of 425 points inside the Dow. You can expect more of that. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay. So we start with the cash S&P. This is what you have happening. And it's pretty intense. Market couldn't hold price. You have high volume on the way down. Right now, your cash S&P is at uh, 2023. We did volume out here of 822 million shares versus 778. The first level you're going to see that the S&P wants to go after is this 1992. And what I expect you're going to see is this. It's Tuesday. We have option expiration this Friday. You're going to see it get into first off the December swing low. That December swing low is the 1992. Then you'll build a bit of cause, maybe day, day and a half. And option expiration day, we're going to be going after this 1973 area. That's the short term basis, folks. The longer term is this high volume swing low that we have out here in the S&P at 1820. Now, the thing that's amazing is this. You have many of the equities inside this market that have already cracked into that October 15th high volume swing low. Where the S&P, we're still high. I mean, we're still at 2021. Dow Industrials. What do we have with the Dow Industrials? Dow Industrials gave it up in spades in an extraordinary way. Uh, we take a look at the Dow Industrials, what you had out here today. From high to low, as we said, was five 500 points. Um, taking the wind out of the Dow Industrials today, you had DuPont down 127, Chevron was off 168, Pfizer was down 33, Nike was down 85. You can see what happened out here. You had a, a huge, they, those, all those equities were up, up in a big way. In fact, at one point in the Dow Industrials, there wasn't one stock that was in the red. That was this morning. Didn't last long. The NASDAQ composite. What do we have inside the composite? Inside the composite, folks, you have the same phenomena happening. The composite today gets up to 64.77.
You're at 63.63 right now. Monster volume, 2.1 billion shares. The, it, the composite could not hold the January 5th high. So that's, that's what it's trying to do. And that's where we had a vicious downdraft uh, on January 5th. We went from 64.66 down to 63. Bottom line, that's where we're at. NASDAQ Composite wants to do the exact same type of setup, meaning it's going to build cars. First off, to get down to the December swing lows, then what I expect you're going to see um, is the October swing lows. That is, that's going to take a bit, but bottom line, what is still hanging out there in the composite also is a high volume swing low October 15th. If I bring you over to the SPY and you want to see how clear this is, we take a look at the SPY, this is what you have. The SPY out here today did volume of 208 million shares. The volume on the 6th is 209 million. That's December 6th. That low is 198.85. That's where 202.08. We're going after that 198.85, and I expect you're going to see that more than likely get hit tomorrow. You'll build some cars, then what are we going to do? We're going to go after the December 16th swing low. That's 197.84. Now, what you're going to need at that swing, though, folks, is an expansion of volume because we have 259 million shares there. Does it end there? No. Why? Because you're already inside the lower range, folks. The lower range, well, if we get down to the December 16th swing low, the lower range inside the SPY is once you get back inside 201.85. What's hanging out there in a big way is 181.92. That's the October 15th swing low. If you want to look at the QQQ, same type of setup inside the QQQ. What we have out here today, we're at 101.52. We did 56 million shares out here today. You're going into the first swing low has 66 million shares. The December swing low has 65. You'll build a little cause. What's sticking out it's like a sore thumb still is 90.24. That 90.24 is the October 15th swing low. And if you want to see a couple high volume stocks that just have taken that apart, well, go to Google. Um, Google already took it apart. You know, the October 15th swing low on Google is $518. It's at trading at 501. We'll go over to Amazon. We take a look at Amazon. Amazon's making its way down to that level. Amazon's at 294 right now. Your high volume swing low out here is 284. GoPro, GPRO. What do we have with GoPro? You get a confirmed ABC structure in the way down. GoPro today. GoPro today, big volume on the way down. What we did is this. You did volume of 15 million shares. You blew away the swing point that had 6 million shares. This is, uh, you know, GoPro number one not only went higher, it went dramatically higher. Uh, you know, GoPro went nonstop from $38 up to the $100 level. We're at 49. Where's it going? Guess what? We're going down to 40 bucks and like a heartbeat. It's pretty intense. There's no doubt about it. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract out here gets into its swing point, has some juice in the swing point. Last time we were up at these levels, you did, uh, tw let's see, I believe we did 24,000 contracts the last time we were up here. Today we did 160, we, we were doing, okay, we did, we're going to need more volume. This is what we did. Last time we did 240,000 contracts, 241,000 contracts. At two at one two three eight twelve thirty eight ninety. Today you get to a price point twelve forty four. You get an expansion of volume. You're going to need more. I suspect what you're going to see here. You're going to build a bit cause, jump over it. Why? Because if we go over to the GLD and we take a look at the GLD, what you're going to see is this. Last time we were up here, we did volume of uh, ten million shares. Today we did seven point eight. Not bad. But what you have, you're hanging at those highs, folks. The XAU and the HUI had the volume. And this is what the XAU and the HUI did. The XAU and the HUI went into the swing point. It couldn't hold price. But when you go into a swing point with volume, bottom line, it wants to go higher. And King Dollar, what about King Dollar? King Dollar, folks, 
couldn't handle a tie, backed off, you can expect lower king dollar. You stay right there, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. We'll be coming right back.